Hey there, folks. What you're looking at is an image of a tree and the evening sky as the background. There's a light. Is that light in the tree or is it behind the tree? I was on the mission doing this before the light appeared in the tree. Check it out. I climbed a tree once before to rescue my drone, but not this one. This tree was about 80 feet tall roughly about 24 meters high. I was not gonna attempt this tree, no way. One thing I will advise all flyers to do, to do is learn how to use your map to find your drone. Hit that find your drone button and learn to use that map. There is a lag in the transmission when you're trying to find your drone. You will notice that as you walk, the distance between you and the drone does not change as you walk. It is sudden. You might walk for about five or six foot and then all of a sudden you will see a change in the distance travel. Once I was able to get in the yard and walk around the tree, as I turned the light on and off, the light on the bottom of the drone, the landing light, I was finally able to spot her up as the darkness descended on us. But she was too high up for me to do anything about it that evening. Folks, I really did it this time. Second time in about a week and a half. It's way up there. So I went home for the night and planned a rescue for the next day. You won't believe I have done it again. Air 2S is up in that tree over there. All the way up top. I believe part of the problem was my IMU. This boy is not following the points it's supposed to follow when I do my waypoint. It's going, I would say roughly about 30 degree off to the side, to the most, mostly to the right of my waypoint. I set two waypoints yesterday here in the park and it went off course. And then while I trying doing another shot, it ended up in that tree. Right now I'm getting a lot of latency with this uh, pocket two. I don't know whether that's because I have my Mavic Air nearby, which I'm about to fly up and show you where this baby ended up in the tree. Okay, let's turn this around here. That's the tree over there. So we're gonna take off, fly up there and show you exactly where. I haven't flown this boy, bad boy yet in a long time. Make it over here. I don't know if you can still see her. So that drone was right there in the tree. I'm not I'm not close at all, but it appear it might appear that way in the image. So that's where it was and we tried different methods of getting up there. We tried flying a rope up there around the branch. That worked yesterday, but the rope was not long enough. So it came down. Today I got a much smaller string, uh, which worked. But as you can see, the wind have picked up. Even though this string was real small, the wind put a lot of force on that and was bringing my air two down. So what I had to do was get that baby down and then it got caught up and it came down in the tree, but no damage, only damage to one of the propellers. And saying that it was on the string, it didn't crash down to the ground. We just let it down gingerly. All right, so let me bring this bad boy back. Now, let me tell you what happened. When we're about to leave, we got a little frustrated. Okay, we've been here too long and let's get out of here. But before I get to that part of it, when I got here this morning, very, very early, 
walked over to the fence and I looked all around, hoping and praying that this baby had fallen out the tree last night. Because I, I, I take a second look from this angle up into the tree to see if I could spot it. Did not see anything. Look down. Look at what I found. Laying right there on his belly up. Right. right there, belly up. And it's just close enough for me to be able to grab it and bring it back. I mean, there were guys working in here and I could have asked them to go in and uh, retrieve my drone. But there was no need to. There she is, right here. Bring it down here so you can see it. One broken leg. Um, all the propellers are still in place. Battery's dead. All right, folks, here she is, right here. This arm seems all right. shell a lower shell that's a little indentation right there uh, yeah I think that's clear enough to see and I'm gonna put a battery in to change the battery and see if we'll Goes away. 